So we're going to move on to EGK Brad versus Razor Infiltration. This is the last of the <laughs> winner's that side. During year of Infiltration, in right after the year of Infiltration, to defeat Infiltration at a tournament. So K Brad uh, has had a history of doing well versus Infiltration. And Infiltration, remember in the team tournament, lost pretty badly to Verloren. Oh, that's true, he did. Cami from Korea. So here we go. K Brad, look at this, trying to stay in Nash's face. K Brad has a very grounded style with Cami. Not to say that he doesn't do diving, obviously, there it is. But he's more grounded and patient than many Camis are. That was interesting. I don't think that was supposed to be a B skill from Infiltration. All right, using that dive kick to delay the jump makes it so she avoid the anti-air. Able to apply some pressure, trying to get in there once again with a dive kick, but infiltration doing a joke. Keep it out. Oh, but it missed. Yeah. So two characters with a lot of damage output, and yet 50 seconds into it, look at this life lead. <laughs> oh, that's gonna. Yeah, he goes into raw uppercut. Gets and out of there. The escape. Kbrad has the life lead infiltration. I, I just, I'm not sure that the back and forward wait to see what happens style is going to work that well on, on K Brad. It may be, but uh, K Brad, at least the way he's talked, the way he's played against many other people, it hasn't worked quite as well. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but somehow K Brad got baited into jumping and got caught by the EX Scythe. Right. Well, the time is still very relevant. Oh, oh no! Misconfirmed. Yeah. He thought it was hit. He always tries to hit confirm that. Yeah, and a lot of times you're just trying to do it based on whether or not the opponent is standing, right? This might be a bunch of grabs in a row. Oh, oh he got him! Surprising! Oh, oh, and he goes back in. He doesn't run out. Oh, I love that he went in right there. Yeah. There's, well, I mean, why back off? It's not like you're worried about Dragon Punch, right? right. Uh -huh, just uh -huh. take some time by pressing buttons. Wow, what a round ender right there. Very few fireballs. K Brad just playing patiently. See, he just waited for the fireball and then moved forward. Really nice. Infiltration, backing up a little bit, trying to dance. Gets right through there with the V-Skill. Infiltration not ready for it. Yes, this time. Very few actual fireballs, but a lot of fakes. Jabs, strongs, in order to make K-Brad think that it's time to jump. The whiff punish. Oh, we saw K-Brad do that yesterday, that's right. Whiff punish with drill, that's so good. It's so good. <laughs> You know, Infiltration wants K Brad to jump, so K Brad staying grounded. And jumped right when Infiltration wasn't ready for it. Right. Ah, oh, great. Oh, I thought too he was going to get more. Too far away for him to do anything off mm -hmm. of that. Dashed up right into exactly what he wanted. Yes. Oh, again, the chance for damage, and Infiltration doesn't really get what he wants. Working on Super, though. Not quite there yet. Look at this time. Again, we have a lot of time already gone. Not a lot of damage on either side. You know Infiltration wants the super. Yeah, and that's exactly what he got. Finally, he found it. Is that... Oh, you don't know. You know what it, it is? It doesn't even matter, that, right? It's yeah. Cammy. Like, it was, it's, it was going to kill for sure, but even yeah, if it didn't, uh, uh, the way that these two players have been playing, it's <laughs> that 12-second comeback would have been a tall order. And, and you know what? I mean, again, you know, we've talked about this before, but, like, the longer Street Fighter V has been being played, the more uh, most of the fights have become are starting to become like this. Even with characters like Cami involved. Yeah, and yeah, even with Ken, right? Yeah. There are people who I've talked with, top players, who think that it's going to end up kind of a turtley game. It's so interesting. Yeah, so interesting. It's, it definitely did not start that way. Oh no, a missed dive kick from in, uh, from K Brad, but fortunately not a huge amount of damage. No, from no trigger yet. Looking for pokes. There's the trigger activated now for Cammy. So Actually, she it's really interesting to, to poke with Crouching Fierce just before trigger. Maybe if he had gotten crushed, it would have given it. would have gotten it. Yeah. I, it's an interesting uh -huh, idea. Uh -huh. Something I'm going to have to look into. Oh, oh wow. It. Oh, Say what? That could not have been on purpose. Yeah. I think he hit and was like, oh, shoot, I better combo and something the wrong so thing came out. Exactly what Infiltration was looking for, I believe. He's looking that? for that path out. Drill or beat the uppercut? That was weird. That jump roundhouse from Ash. Super's relevant. EX anti air at least is super relevant right now. Oh, nothing from Infiltration. Does he want to save Bar? Yeah, but K Brad like reacted. It. Oh, no! Oh, the drop! It. What's going on, Infiltration? K Brad with the knockdown. That was so beautiful. The dash right seconds. back in there. Jab her out of the air. Can Infiltration keep this going? 
as long as he needs it to. He has no EX anti-air. He went for the sight, and, and that's and anti exactly. Cam. Right, so K-Brad, the, the risk of him doing that jump right there was not great. That was a nice idea. I'm, I'm surprised, on the other hand, to see the Scythe come out of infiltration in that kind of situation. So far, though, I like these Rhinos as, as anti-air. Yeah, it's something that he wasn't doing in the first game. Right. Nice. Yeah. Now we've seen two different anti-airs out of infiltration. And here comes, oh, did you what see a backdash back from K-Brad? K-Brad. You are ridiculous, K-Brad. Kenneth Bradley, you are ridiculous. Okay, really not too much you can do in the way of punishment there. Yeah. Oh, regular. Oh, regular one, wow. Okay, so we've seen Stan Roundhouse and we've seen that uh, Roundhouse and the side dance or whatever it's called. Me. He just jabbed. Oh, yeah, didn't get up fast enough. And now he just anti-aired with the Sobat. And now the knee. So we just saw five different anti-airs in basically one round. <laughs> Roundhouse crouching medium kick. Roundhouse Scythe, the Soba, and the Knee. Okay, Brad moving forward. Getting he does find there. it. Yep. Oh, it didn't Whoa! Anti air with Drill! Okay, Brad, patient. Patient. What's Infiltration gonna set up? Will he have active control? Oh, there we go. Diving to avoid the EX Scythe. Brad not wanting to give his opponent the view reversal escape, but infiltration getting out anyway. Yeah, for free. Didn't nice have movement. to use any resources, but look at this. K Brad's basically walked infiltration all the way back in. That's why infiltration went for the anti air knee. All those different anti airs we've seen Roundhouse, we've seen Down Strong, we've seen Roundhouse Scythe, we've seen Zucani. He just has so many different choices. And that's. Oh, didn't spend any meter again. He could have taken that maybe if he had done the EX Scythe. Out of the air into the grab. k is very much in this. Oh, the whiff. And he... Oh! What the... I don't know what's going on, but well, K-Brad is going to take it off of the throw. My guess is that Infiltration wanted Jab into Slicer, into Super for the chip. That's my guess. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what it looked like it was going to be. And unfortunately for him, K-Brad was in the air. Yeah, got hit out of the air, Scythe whiffed, and then K-Brad jabbed him and then walked up and threw. No confirm off of that one low forward for K-Brad. Trading with the anti-air this time. That's definitely in K-Brad's favor. K-Brad now at match point. K-Brad playing so well recently. Third place at SCR. His timing on when to move forward. Look at this, he backs off to a more comfortable yeah. spot. He has the life lead, why go in too hard? A, a change that a lot of people have made about Nash. Uh, well, it doesn't work out. But a lot of people are now trying to cage Nash rather than pressure him too mm -hmm, hard because mm -hmm. that lets him out of the corner. Like that? Yes. And K-Brad did take a little bit of damage thanks to uh, missing a dive kick. But you know what? doesn't matter. He's applying that pressure again. And now, backs off. Yep. That was Roundhouse. Oh, it was Fierce. Regardless, it was not dive kick to get the delay. So Infiltration going to take the life lead? Well, more or less. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Wake up. Light punch into V-Trigger for K-Brad. Just gets out of there, yep. And what patience from blocking oh. from Infiltration! Oh. Finally got hit by the Stamp Fierce. K -Brad 23 now. seconds left, Infiltration getting away. That V-Trigger is running out. Will K-Brad try to use it? He's not pressing no. too hard. And again, I love that. And yes. that Infiltration, oh, gets him! Oh my god, and Combo's into there! He's in, he has more life, and K-Brad goes in! The nice. tech at the right time! Oh, the knee is gonna give Infiltration the life lead! Oh my god, we are down to four Can seconds K -Brad, left! K-Brad, does he have time? Does he have time? No, he's just going to yeah. block. The throw is not going to do any damage. Infiltration, oh my Bowman god, he's going to take it. I don't even know how you can even muster the strength to laugh after that. When you're playing this kind of game, it's just fun. Yeah, It's, it's, absolutely. it's definitely draining, but it's also just a blast when yeah. you get to play this kind of very intense, interesting neutral mm -hmm. game. Nice. Confirm crouching medium punch directly in the Sonic Boom. Try to anti-air with the Sonic Boom. Not going to happen. Great poke from K-Brad. To get to the drill. Is K-Brad playing the much more offensive style? Is that the switch? Oh, nope. he backs off. Backs off a little bit, yep. Again, trying not to let Nash V-Reversal for free or V-Trigger for free. Yeah, just like you said. Oh, uh, wow. A V-Trigger in reaction to a V-Trigger. 
But it's like you said, you know, people have learned how to fight Nash. They're just not giving him that ability to easily escape anymore. Yeah, right, right. Okay, Brad. Yeah, he, after he jumped, I think he realized, oh, hold on, I got to... There's an EX there. Okay, Brad, moving forward, he gets, he gets it! it! And there it is, K. Brad, once again, match point against Infiltration. We just saw Daigo Umahara sent to losers by Knuckle Dew. Can another US really? player send a favorite? Did you see that EX just lose? Yeah. The, you know why? Because it's not invincible low. Right, and right? the drill got low and enough the, in between wow. the kicks. Yeah, crazy. Oh, and he goes up, gets the frame trap off of the crouching medium punches. Yes, controlling there is K-Brad. Again! As many resources as Infill has right now. Again! K-Brad is just controlling things! Uh, he got it! There it is! K-Brad is gonna send Infiltration to loser's bracket! We just had two of the best matches that I've seen in Street Fighter V. Both this one and the previous one with Daigo and Knuckle Dew. Just the the beautiful thing is the decisions in the neutral game. Okay, right. that is what I care about when it comes to fighting games. And they played it to a T. Yeah, and I, I wanna make sure people understand that it has nothing to do with the fact that the US players won, you know, because people are gonna be like, of course you think that, because the US No, the the matches regardless of who won were both ridiculous. They really were great, great matches. You can see right here down to no time left. And the infiltration, yeah, ends up taking that one at the end of game oh, two. Man, right down to the wire. And yeah, very rare that you see that kind of reaction from infiltration. Right. You know, usually it's just, you know, oh, I can tell you, download complete. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then K Brad once again. And then look at this the cross up, instant dive kick, stun. K Brad moves on on the winner's side. And you know what? I believe the way the brackets are playing out, he is going to go up against Knuckle Do next.